All right, Mr. Blanchard wanted to know, wanted to know um, about the Humboldt, like why, I don't know if, like the difference of why we use, why we cut the way we cut over here in the east. Um, sorry, I'm just checking something out. Uh, and most of the time, more often than not, we're cutting all the way down to the dirt there because uh, you're trying, you know, the best lumber for the hardwoods comes out of the butt of the trees. You can see the butts are real nice and straight there. And as you go up the tree, you get limbs. So, not that they don't have that over there, but um, there's a couple reasons we cut that way. But uh, most of it is just to get the highest yield out of the log. Um, the other one is just, I don't know how that came about or anything like that, but we're using that root flare, that there. So when you make your wedge in that, it's, uh, all your waste is in that flare. So when the logs are sawed, that actually comes off in your first slab. The second reason, or third, however many I'm on now, I think, is because here in the east, we're trying to get the trees off the stump get them down controlled and get them to break free of the stump so there's no fiber pull no tear they don't split anything like that uh we're trying to leave as little holding wood most of the time sometimes you got to leave fat hinges and do all kinds of crazy stuff but we're trying to leave as little holding wood as possible to get these trees down on the ground you know and the butts are always in a nice good clean clean now not all busted up not a lot of fiber pull and by fiber pull i mean you see that that's a little bit of fiber pull but it's not bad it's how i cut it so but i will use a humboldt in certain situations on steep ground when i want to leave stumps high to hold trees so if you're on like say a hill that's steep like this a lot of the times I'll cut the trees and fall them across the hills opposed to straight up or straight down because those stumps will hold the logs and keep them from taking off. Like in that one video I did when I was working with stump back in September, you know, we cut one and it just whoosh, was gone. Limbs and all, that's how steep it was. Um, in this situation here, I'm going to use a Humboldt because I want to keep that tree on that stump as long as I can. And using the humble, I can actually throw the log. Once it pops free, it'll throw it out this way a little bit and get that butt out away from that stump there. So I can obviously pull it with the dozer right around that way. And uh, well, I think that one I'm just going to throw up in through there. But we'll do a humble for Mr. Blanchard. Let's see if I can put this phone somewhere you can see and I won't smash it that's not gonna do huh how's that yeah you can see that and for the record I don't use this that much so if it doesn't look like I'm that good at it that's probably why
would like to go out west or, you know, just go somewhere there's that big pine like that. Do that for like a month. Get good at fishing. Alright, I'll go up here and I'll do one. Oh, hell. Uh, give me a second. To get to uh, see on this one now, was the hinge was cut the opposite way and I bored out the heart. And the idea is to eliminate as little pulled fiber as possible. So you just have these two little tabs or posts. There you have it. That's why I do it this way at least. I'm not saying that's the right way and it's probably not the reason, you know, I don't know how that came about the way it did. So... But uh, typically, I think, like I said, the Humboldts out west is because they're trying to get up out of the pitch and resin-rich butt of the tree. You want to get up out of that to where the wood's easier and get out of where the you know the stump does this on both sides. And, uh, and then they cut that inverted notch, the Humboldt, because then you don't have any waste in the log because their logs are so like perfect round most of the time. There's no root flare in them when they're, where they're cutting them, so you cut them like an inverted way. But it also helps, when I'm falling up a hill, it helps keep that log on the stump. See where like this one, if it hit a tree, it could have slid back this way. Another reason you always run, never run straight behind a tree. You always run off on a 45, so. All right, hope that helps. Probably doesn't, probably confuses you more than anything, but. If there's any other questions, ask. I'll, uh do my best answer.